Hey, welcome to the Cold Freedom Podcast. I am super excited to have a really good friend of mine, uh, Miss Mia Buss. Uh, this is episode 243, and we're excited to have you here on the show. Welcome. Thank you, Eddie. It's good to be here. Appreciate yeah, so, the invitation. Absolutely. So, I mean, look, we've been knowing each other for a long time, like like 20, more than 20 years, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kids. Yeah. I didn't see you doing some amazing things. And um, you are the author of Saving Money with Rando and Jerome. And that's exciting. And um, I'm just curious, what made you decide to write that book? It's so saving money with Randall and Jerome is actually a passion project of mine because Randall and Jerome are actually my twin sons uh, who are now 10 years old. But when I wrote the book, um, they were seven and it is loosely based on just a real conversation that we had. Um, their grandmother had given them some money. Um, it, but it wasn't enough for what they wanted. And so, you know, it's, it's that first lesson for children in money doesn't grow on trees. So just learning how to save, learning how to budget, learning how to work for what it is that you want. Wow. I love that. So, I mean, that, that's very interesting. Um, I remember being a broke college student and wanting to be financially free, wanting to really have a life of freedom, but I just didn't know how. I didn't have any mentorship, any coaching, any guidance, didn't even know what kind of business to start. But I found something, a vehicle that had a proven system, had mentors and coaches, had all the resources and everything that I needed to really build a successful business with little overhead uh, that I could work from home, I could do part time uh, and really do it in my own time. And so if you're looking for a vehicle like that and you'd like to give it a shot, hey, reach out to me, let's connect. Go to eddiebales.com or you can go down in the description below and you can click on that link. I look forward to connecting with you. And hey, we've already helped tons of other people and we look forward to helping you on your journey to freedom as well. I mean, so you know, I had this situation where they needed some money and when did it come into your mind that turned it into a book? Um, well, I just thought that after having the conversation and I thought it was funny, I just sat down and said, you know, I feel like other parents and children would benefit from a story like this in just that teachable moment. So um, I am not someone who is, uh, I I'm used to writing, so I'll say that. I was editor-in-chief of my school newspaper, all the things. So um, writing comes pretty naturally to me. So I just sat down and said, you know, let me put something together. And it turned into this. Awesome. Awesome. I was going to ask you, was it hard, but you just answered that question right there. <laughs> now, is that a passion of yours? Um, I always like to ask people, what would you say is your biggest passion? Like if you didn't have to worry about bills or money, what would you do every day? That's a question I always love asking people. Um, so I would not necessarily say writing per se is my passion, but I, what my passion I would say would be is, um, getting people to be the best version of themselves. And so even with this book, you know, it's helping kids before they get to adulthood, when we know that we're bombarded with credit and adulting, real life situations, giving them the tools that they need to be their best versions of themselves and hopefully not get into um, the trouble that so many adults get into with finances. Yeah, that's so important. And, uh, you know, this this podcast is called Cold Freedom because we want to, you know, help people to have freedom in every area of their life. And this is such a pivotal moment in a child's, um, you know, life that they start learning these things on the early end because there are lots of adults who still don't understand a lot of the principles that you teach in your book. So Absolutely. And, it, you know, what's funny is, so when I wrote the book, again, this was when my kids were seven years old. So it was very much written for, you know, let's say second to fifth graders. But I have had adults who have read the book and have said, you know, I got a thing or two from that. So it, it's never too late to read it and, you know, glean something from it. Yeah, I mean, if we can make an idea like that so simple for a child, 
then obviously an adult can get it if they can move their ego to the side and say, hey, I need to, <laughs> I need to look at this too, right? Exactly. So it's really just a matter of, hey, if if it takes them reading it in a way that they understand and they can take a few principles from it and apply it to their everyday life, then I have done something right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, um, so it's, I, I thought that you kind of like, I didn't know that how the, the whole story of how the book came to be about. So my question I was going to ask you is, can you see yourself writing another one? Oh yeah, most definitely. So <laughs> I've had, um, I've had a few requests already for more books. Um, so there's, there are two already in the works, I will say. So, uh, more to come, but to answer your question, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. I love that. Um, and I saw the, you know, it's, it's under the title, um, the next generation ventures. Um, even though you have that, that book under that, under that, um, that LLC, um, do you see anything outside of the book coming out of it, like other projects that may come from it? Oh, yeah, most definitely. So just to give you a little bit of um, what has happened over the last year. So I published this book in February of 2023. Um, as a result of that, um, a lot has happened. So I, I actually now have become a trainer, finance trainer for children um, as a part of my company, Next Generation Ventures, LLC. Um, I have hosted uh, during Financial Literacy Month, which is in April, um, I've hosted a kids financial literacy fair. So that was like awesome. Um, and I've gotten, you know, sponsorships from local banks here and just angel investors wanting to give kids money to start their little bank accounts. You know, it has evolved into more than I could ever imagine. And so um, that leads me to this month uh, with it being the one year anniversary of the book. Um, I am kicking off uh, what I'm calling Money Masters, which is an interactive and ongoing financial education training for kids ages seven to 17. I don't know about you, but sometimes investing can be very scary. And in order to be a great investor, sometimes you just need a guide. And so I'm a part of a special group called the Wealth Squad. And this group helps you to learn how, how to trade stocks, options. There's so much stuff in this, in this community. It's a Discord community. And if you want to be a part of it, just go to the description down below or the link on the screen. And I promise you, we got tons of coaches that are there to support you. Whether you want to invest in crypto, whether you want to invest in real estate, whether you want to invest in, um, you know, get better with your online presence or just invest in the stock market, period. Whether it be options, whether it be stocks, whether it be anything, all of the above, you want to check out this community. Go to this link. Uh, there's a special link where you can get connected and plugged in uh, and uh, you can be a part of this community and really learn how to build your wealth. Because here's the deal. Your income that you earn, that's one thing. But the income that you start to get from investing, that's what grows you exponentially and that's what builds your wealth. One of the things that we discuss in that Discord group is to get money and buy income get money and buy income. And that's how you really start to build freedom is by buying income, right? And so we're gonna talk about this more, but plug into that group and we look forward to connecting with you. So that they can continue to get that knowledge of budgeting, saving, and even a little bit of training on uh, credit, even though they're not old enough to use it, that they at least have the basic understanding of what credit is. And that it's not something to be afraid of, but you got to know how to use it wisely so that you don't get yourself into trouble because it's not your money. Good stuff. Good stuff. I mean, so you mentioned too that you, that's powerful that you have been able to turn it into a lot of other stuff and just how it's just growing uh, that way. I, I love that because it's such a need, you know yes. what I mean? It's such a need and it's just, um, it's exciting to see that you'll have impact that you won't even see sometimes. And yeah. that's the exciting thing about it. Um, have you heard any stories of, of any kids that, um, you know, took some of the practices and done some of the things? I mean, I'm sure you have. Yeah, you know, one of the things that really stuck out to me, and um, the young man is actually in the picture for um, my my advertisements, but he's he actually has, um, I don't want to call it a disability, that's not the right way to say it, but um 
you know, he learns differently, we'll say that. And just the fact that his parent was able to say that, hey, I can see where um, he can now operate in his adulthood, knowing that still, you know, he's going to need help for the rest of his life. That's that's just the facts. But he has the knowledge now that, hey, if maybe if his caretaker might be pulling one over on him, that he has the tools to know what to look for so that he can, you know, take action. And that was that was one thing that really stuck out and meant a lot to me. That's good. That's good. He could say, hold on now, this ain't right. <laughs> right. And that's important, you know, like everybody needs this. Everybody does. Doesn't matter the age. Absolutely. I mean, you think about some of the people who, they win the lottery or the people who go to the NFL or the NBA and they end up broke. Um, if they had to just read a book like yours when they were younger, right? <laughs> right, exactly. It's important to have, you know, the right people in your corner um, that understand this stuff and, and are willing to share it. Um, oftentimes in black and brown communities, we just have not historically had that. So um, I'm glad to be a part of the movement. It definitely sounds like a movement, and um, I'm excited. Um, you you self-published the book. So um, what was that like? Cause, cause, and I'm asking some of these questions because I'm writing some books, too. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm still working on writing the book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I just haven't finished it yet. So I'm just curious, how was that whole process with the, uh, the self-publishing? You know, I found it to be... Um pretty easy once I knew what steps to take. So um, for me, I went through um, Amazon and Amazon has the option for you to publish with other national um, retail um, bookstores as well. So for me, I'm actually also with Barnes and Noble um, in addition to Amazon. Um, but honestly, as far as like you're, you know, editing the the graphics because, you know, I have a children's book. I had to get an illustrator and all the things. Um, I found that to be pretty easy. I went through Fiverr, believe it or not, you know, just once I knew that this was happening, which I have to give credit to um, my consultant for that, who really pushed me because, you know, I, I didn't believe in my product at first. But when she read it, she was like, oh, no, you need to move this along. And so once I had that um, confidence to really move forward, everything else was pretty much a cakewalk. You'd be surprised how many people are out here and can guide you right along. I had zero issues with my publishing experience. Good stuff. Um, I know I'm maybe kind of going way into the future, but could you ever see an uh, audible or audio version of it? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that's actually already in the works. Wow. Yeah, that's already in the works. So um, I have someone who is doing my voiceover. So, yes, I, I might do it myself. I don't know. We'll see. I was going to ask if you're going to read it or if you're going to have someone else do it. Yeah, no, I, I don't think it's going to be me. I have... I have a very specific person in mind because um, personally, because it's it's my black sons, I wanted a black man to be reading this book. Yeah, so that's something that was just particularly important to me. So I have somebody in mind and looking forward to him finishing that for me. Awesome. 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 Well, this is exciting to know that um, you could take a, a just a, a lesson and turn it into um, a, a business, right? Uh, but not yeah. even just a business, but impact. That's what it's really all about is the impact that it can have on people's lives. Like I said, that you, you may never know the impact that it reaches just because it could be in some uh, living living room in California and then move its way to another country at some point. Absolutely. And you know what's cool too is that I actually, I already know um, at minimum, I have a few sales in the Philippines already. Like, I, cause I can see where these books are being purchased. Um, so it, it is amazing. I'm worldwide, Eddie. I'm worldwide. <laughs> well, I can get your autograph next time I come to Buffalo. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, but it's it's exciting. And um, 
you know, it, it's great to have a product that lives on, right? Like, I've known you for a long time and I love how much you're into, you know, residual income. And to me, the book is one of those streams that I can now utilize as a part of my plans for freedom, right? So, um, so it's, it's exciting. It's exciting to have this. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Um, the, one of the main reasons why I even started this podcast is for legacy. Um, yeah. Is that one day when I'm not here, my kids will be able to listen to my podcast and be like, hey, I got something that I can kind of hold on to, right? And you got uh -huh. the same thing. You got a book that can just go for generations and say, hey, my mom is an author. Look at the book that she wrote when we were this age and look at how old we are now. We got grandkids and you can pass it on. Yes. Like, that's just so powerful. So it's awesome. Yes, it is. I love that. Yeah, I I love that idea. I love the pride that my sons have had. You know, we've had opportunities to vend and and speak at different places and just to see, you know, hey, do you want our autographs? Like, I love how excited they are about this. And it's great to be able to share this as a family. And and speaking of that, let's talk about the boys. Um, do they uh do they get a chance to go out and speak at all to like different audiences and crowds when you when you go places? So they haven't, I haven't exposed them yet to actually like the public speaking, but um, they have absolutely been with me on several vending opportunities. And so um, just seeing like the hustle in them because the mom, the, hey, if I'm teaching it, in the book, I'm going to let you understand, hey, this can be your way to earn money. So you make the sale, you keep your income, no problem. And so to see the hustle, like, hey, I'm Randall. This is my book, Saving Money with Randall Jerome. <laughs> Would you like a copy? And I'm telling you, these folks go crazy over it. So, <laughs> that is so awesome. yeah, I love yeah. It. I love it. Well, hey, it has been it's been an honor to have you here, and it's been great to just hear a little bit of your story. Um, any closing word that you want to say about anybody that's trying to learn how to budget, trying to learn how to save and invest, and things like that? That um, that you know you share in your book, or just anything you want to share? Yeah. Um, just believe that you can do it. Believe that, and it starts with just one step. Hey, if you got a dollar. You can turn it into two, but you just have a, you need to have a plan in order to do that. And saving money with Randall and Jerome helps you understand what steps you need to take to get to the goal that you have set for yourself. So um, whether you are five or 55, you can get something from this book and um, I encourage you to get it. So, um, but you can do it. Absolutely. I always tell people, if you don't tell your money what to do, it'll tell you what you can't do. <laughs> Hello. That's the truth. That's yeah. the truth. And and I love the, you know, code freedom. We're all trying to get there. We're trying to get to a place where, you know, money is a resource, right? And we can, we know what we're doing in order to get where we want to be. And we want to be able to have a wonderful quality of life and all those things and not have to just always be working for it. So I'm with you. Definitely understand. Absolutely. Well, hey, definitely appreciate you for coming on. Thank you so much. And uh, God bless. God bless you too. Take care. All right.